All right, welcome back again. Hey, y'all. Some days here. Remember the last episode? We took the 87 Jefferson, had it surveyed. Come on back. Let's talk about the survey. What all it entailed, what was wrong with the boat, what was good with the boat. See you in a little bit. everybody survey's over with another what 700, 700 and something some dollars, dollars. <laughs> later and hadn't even known a boat yet but this is things you got to do so we took the boat out on the survey there was a really complicated a lot of moving parts going on didn't have a lot of time to film because uh, I was trying to watch and learn watch the surveyor so it was hard to do both at the same time but all in all the boat surveyed okay uh, there were some items that needed to be fixed, most of them minor, nothing major. Uh, as we noted before, a few blisters on the bottom that we're going to get fixed at the next, next haul out. Don't think it's a big deal. Surveyor wasn't alarmed about them. They've been on the boat for a while and haven't really gotten any bigger. So I don't really see that to be a problem. Right. And he gave us money for the bigger ones to get them fixed. That's right. So, so we're getting those fixed. So. Uh, after we did the survey, we got the recommendations from the surveyor that needed to be fixed. There were some flares out of date. Yeah. Uh, just just there's some breakers that weren't marked. You know all the stuff that you want to do for safety wise. And then he gave some recommendations on a few things like the counter on the windlass uh, was broke. Uh, you know some of the stuff that you need to know what's right with the boat, what's wrong with the boat. So make a long story short. Uh, after the survey, we counter-offered to the uh, owner that uh, we would like, uh, there was, whatever the list he had, I think it was about 20 items. Something like that. That was wrong with the boat, and we said, well, if you'll repair, blow this, this, and this, we'll take care of the rest of this, this, this other items, uh, but we want to uh, reduce the price X amount of dollars for the boat. Set it off to him. Uh, he accepted it. So we, we own a boat. We own a boat. Yeah. So here we go. Uh, we're excited. Uh, the boat is what we wanted. Uh, I think it's going to be a good project. It goes on the same level of tiny homes as such. We're in our in the RV right now. We're used to small living, so it's not going to be a big shock going from this to that. A uh, few things that we want to get done on it, but we just want to give you an update and then we're going to come out with a few more things here to bring you up to speed on bringing the boat home. Uh, we want to give you some lists of uh, maybe the top five things you want to uh, uh, do when you're buying a boat or looking right. at a motor yacht or a trawler or some type of a boat for living full time on. But anyway, we're excited. We've got the boat. We'll show you some more videos of it here shortly. We just wanted to give y'all an update on what's going on. And if y'all want to know anything about the survey or what all it was and what they took off and what we're going to get fixed and all that stuff, comment below and we'll go ahead and do a video on the whole survey and show y'all the paperwork and everything of what actually was entailed in the survey and what was wrong and what they said they would fix and what we think this would cost and everything else if y'all are interested in something like that. Yeah, for some of you people that's never been through a survey, Maybe you want to know exactly what it, what they check on, what they go around and see. If, you, if you're if you interested in that, put it in the comments below. Hey, make sure you give us a thumbs up and please subscribe. And just remember now, we're just not people uh, in a boat. We also got the RV. Right. We're going to be doing a lot of RVing again this year. We're going to do a lot of boating. So if you, you like tiny living, reducing your uh, footprint on on land or however you want to do it and, and shrink your size and cord cutting and keeping things to a minimum or whatever you want to do we got a lot that we want to show you this year don't forget some of our old videos you know check them up there in the uh, in some of the playlists that we have below we've been a few places but we're glad you're aboard yep 2018 we're excited it's gonna be a great year we want you to come aboard yep 
And if y'all want to know anything like how much it cost before we even bought a boat and what it, the process was and what the, all that cost, like how many surveys we did, how much gas money we spent, <laughs> I mean, how many hotels we had to pay for and all that kind of stuff, comment below and we'll put all that together and do a video on it and let you know every penny that we have spent so far before purchasing a boat. Yeah, <laughs> it was well worth it. We're glad we did it. We've been looking for a long time getting ourselves in this position, working hard, saving money. Uh, we've said it many, many times. If you want something, there's some things you right. may or may not have to sacrifice to get what you want. But if you really want something, you want to do something, you're the only one that can make it happen. And this is truly a totally different process for buying an RV. Yep. I mean, totally. You go to an RV, you look at them, and that's it. You don't have to have them surveyed and this, that, and the other and everything if you're going to buy one. I mean, usually you're buying it from a place, and it's usually... You can buy the extended warranty or whatever on there and yeah. have it done. The boat's totally different. But a lot of the systems are, are some of the systems are the same. The water pump, a lot of the refrigerators, oh, yeah. talking about. the lights, the 12 volts, the batteries. So a lot of them work hand in hand. But as far as an RV, buying must, process is totally different. Yeah, it's totally different. With a boat, you need somebody that knows what they're doing. You can go up in an RV and stick your head in the fridge and crank a few things up and see if it drives with the mechanic but with a boat there's a lot of wiring and, and stuff that you need to check on and uh, yeah because once you buy that that's yours one thing if the rv breaks down the side of the road you just pull off the shelter or you're stuck at walmart you break down on a boat you're stuck in the middle of the ocean you're stuck in the middle <laughs> of the ocean or at a marina or uh you're or both. <laughs> stuck at the bottom of the ocean so sure. you got to be careful but anyway we're happy we're excited we're glad you came along with us hey until next time some days here Stop the madness. Start the adventure.